everyone. Thanks for watching. My name is Desri Schneider. I'm an online editor at DVZ Deutsche Verkehrszeitung, the leading German logistics newspaper and online publication. Today I'm welcoming Amol Shah, CEO at Freitiger. Hello, Amol. Hi, thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you so much for taking the time and being here. Amol, uh, you are from a young and innovative startup and you're attending the yeah, the webinar basically you could say as nowadays everyone everything's digitally taking place. Um from the Innovators Day from the Kühne Logistics University, university based here in Hamburg tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, are you excited about it? Oh, I'm super excited. I'm excited about the panel. I think there are like two very uh, impressive panelists with me. So I'm very much mm -hmm. looking forward to it. Great. And you are where at the moment? Uh, so Fred Tiger is located in India. Uh, so mm -hmm. we are based out of Mumbai and Bangalore. So yeah, India. So and Freight Tigers is actually uh, operating in the road freight industry in India. Can you tell me a bit a bit about the industry in India? How is it? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, it's uh, pretty interesting. It's going through uh, several big changes, uh, especially with the as the economy is growing. Uh, I think the freight industry is growing pretty rapidly. Uh, mm -hmm. Technology penetration is becoming uh, more and more increasing rapidly. So the industry is going through significant changes. So very exciting place to be in, uh, in Indian logistics and the freight market. Uh, just in terms of quick overview of the industry, uh, it's mm -hmm. about uh, $150 billion industry. And just mm -hmm. to put that in perspective, uh, the American freight industry is eight, $800 billion. So it's a really, really big industry, um, very unorganized and fragmented, and mm -hmm. technology is hardly used in the technology uh, in the industry. That makes it super exciting and very challenging for us. Um, so there are about uh, 10 million vehicles that operate in the country across 200 million transactions, uh, and at this scale, uh, the industry operates a lot on offline networks and a mm -hmm. lot more in terms of manual processes. Um, so I find it pretty fascinating to take on the challenge where we can develop a platform that can be used by all the stakeholders to bring in that supply chain efficiency in the market. Uh, so overall, yeah, the industry is pretty exciting, a really large industry, a big opportunity for technology penetration. So that's kind of the quick overview of the industry. Mm -hmm. And I guess you almost mentioned it, but where does uh, Freight Tiger come into place there? Yeah, uh, so uh, just to quickly give you a little bit more about the mm -hmm. structure of the industry, and then I'll talk about how uh, we are looking at the industry in terms of the changes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, today, uh, the freight market in India is heavily dependent on offline networks, uh, mm -hmm. and the industry is multi tier. Uh, to give you an example, if you look at any manufacturing company or shippers, when they want to ship any goods, they would have contract with third party logistics company that helps them in mm -hmm. terms of planning their operations. And the 3PL company, which is third party logistics, would have annual contracts with several transporters. And we have customers where they would work with as many as 200 transport companies to manage their business. Now these transport companies uh, do part of their business on their own truck and vehicle. And for part of the business, they would go in market and hire a vehicle. Now, considering the diversity in India, it's very difficult for them to reach out to all the fleet owners. So there is an intermediary, which we call broker. And these brokers would have offline networks in the country uh, where they have relationship with fleet owners and they connect the transporters with the fleet owner and then the fleet owner hires a driver. And this whole process happens for 200 million transactions in the country. So from shipper, it's a multi-tier communication channel, mostly offline. So sometimes uh, if shipper wanted a truck to ship their goods, it may take them as many as two to three days to just find a vehicle. Uh, mm -hmm. And you can imagine from the supply chain perspective, Taking two, three days to find a vehicle has a lot of ripple effects in terms of supply chain inefficiency. So mm -hmm. our goal has been there is 
the large freight capacity of 10 million vehicles which is fragmented across several fleet owners so on an average fleet owners would have three to five vehicles uh, when we started freight tiger our thought was how do we organize and optimize this freight capacity in much better and efficient manner to create value for everyone in the supply chain and that's mm -hmm. how we thought of developing the freight tiger platform that helps digitize end-to-end -end freight process for shippers and transport companies we engage with all the supply chain stakeholders and once these parties start operating on the platform it uh, it just creates the transparency throughout that supply chain and the goal is to bring all the offline networks onto one freight tiger platform to bring mm -hmm. that supply chain efficiency uh, and our philosophy always has been uh, uh, in several markets you see when uh, there are technology platforms they end up displacing some of the supply chain ent entities but considering the unique characteristic of india we want to make it a lot more inclusive effort and what i mean by that is uh, we want to promote collaboration among all the supply chain stakeholders as opposed to displacing someone and mm -hmm. for that uh, we work every single day to create incentives uh, to digitize the supply chain process from shipper to transporter to driver so they have incentivized to contribute towards the digitization use the platform to make the supply chain better and then everyone is benefited through this digitization so that has been the thought uh, creating more collaborative uh, logistics platform uh, that mm -hmm. includes all the supply chain stakeholders and brings the supply chain efficiency mm -hmm. Do you think that platforms in general are the future of logistics in India? Oh, 100%. Um, and uh, uh, there is uh, so much focus in the country to reduce cost of logistics. And uh, today, uh, the cost of logistics in India is about 14% uh, of the GDP, which is mm -hmm. around 8% in developed nations. So there is a lot of focus uh, at a country level to reduce that cost of logistics. And in my opinion, um, technology is must have. That's the first step to uh, bring the efficiency and reduce the cost. Uh, so technology is must have for the industry. And one uh, interesting trend I have seen is uh, historically in B2B commerce, a lot of people worked on offline processes, manual processes, but for personal use more and more people have started using technology uh, as simple mm -hmm. as if you take an example of uh, e-commerce people do use amazon to buy something for their personal use so they're used to having that end-to-end -end visibility they used to having that portal where they can look at the status of their order now imagine a scenario where that same person goes to work and in his business persona he's ordering something on behalf of his company which is worth like millions of dollars and they have no visibility because if you don't have technology you place the order and you just hope the material is going to arrive at your destination on time or whenever it would arrive so that lack of visibility leads to significant customer dissatisfaction and i i see more and more those individual users are bringing that technology mindset into their business persona that would also accelerate the usage of technology so uh, technology is the future for the industry and now going back or going into the specifics of Bright Tiger, what do you offer? We have uh, two parts of our offering. The first one we briefly talked about, which is the software platform. And mm -hmm. the second part is the operational support. Um, so I'll briefly talk about both of the aspects. Um, as part of the software platform, uh, we help shippers and transporters digitize the end-to-end -end freight process from order to freight payment reconciliation so when a shipper uh, gets order from their customers uh, once the goods are manufactured the freight process starts where they have to find a vehicle and through these annual contracts or through spot market they would start looking for a vehicle uh, so we have digitized all of those processes we have uh, different modules which are used by different customers based on their needs so we have FT fulfill that digitizes the vehicle placement process. Then we have FT trace that provides the in transit visibility 
for the customers and then we have electronic proof of delivery and account payable reconciliation module to digitize the freight payment processes but uh, on top of that i would highlight a couple of modules which are my favorite um, the mm -hmm. first one is ft insight which is the business intelligence platform you can digitize the process that would help you create transparency reduce overhead but i think analytics is the module that can really accelerate the business benefits so our uh, business intelligence platform uh, the name of the product is ft insights that helps customers look at their business performance operational performance uh, measure their performance across different manufacturing plants different transporters different routes so they can create a baseline on how they are doing uh, based on the baseline they can also create targets on where they want to be and then understand where the bottlenecks are so that's very action oriented module to help improve the performance and then we have ft control which is a control tower um, and to support control tower software we have the operational resources that work with the shipper companies because in a market like india where technology aptitude is not as high across all the stakeholders it takes significant change management initiative to really increase the product adoption so we have a control tower operations team and launch team that is deployed across several manufacturing plants in in the country and they work with the ground staff including transporter logistics teams they do monthly trainings for them on how to use the platform they understand the on ground challenges and we get the feedback on how our product could be updated they communicate the incentives for them to use the platform so that's the team that works with the operations team hand in hand to increase product adoption and uh, drive the efficiencies so those are the two parts in terms of the software platform and the operational support mm -hmm. and something i've seen and maybe was a bit um surprised about because it's uncommon in germany at least i wouldn't know of it in your presentation for the innovators day is it normal in india to use whatsapp for businesses oh definitely uh, <laughs> i would say it's not normal not to use whatsapp for business <laughs> um, <laughs> i moved to india about four years back so before that i had worked in the us china and japan and my primary communication channel was always email and mm. phone calls but i remember when i moved back to india about four years back uh, i realized the response rate on email is a lot slower than whatsapp so mm. quite a few people i know don't have email addresses but they have whatsapp so the primary communication is whatsapp uh, and it reminds me one interesting uh, incident i noticed a couple of drivers would use whatsapp to record audio message and send it on whatsapp so they wouldn't mm. call anyone they wouldn't type a message but they would use whatsapp to just communicate with audio message and i found it uh, pretty fascinating and um, knowing how the whatsapp is used we also have integrated with our whatsapp chatbot because we found that to be very helpful to increase product adoption so some mm. of our workflows that need to happen on freight tiger platform are also integrated through whatsapp so if someone is not logging into platform Uh, they would get a notification on whatsapp and they can respond on that to complete the workflows and uh, that's our way of including all the stakeholders to contribute towards the digitization so uh, whatsapp is a primary communication channel in india that's really interesting yeah. um how did the pandemic affect freight tiger uh, in i can think about a couple of ways uh, how the pandemic has impacted uh, uh, on the first level i think uh, when the country went under lo lockdown uh, all the operations were happening before the lockdown was announced so quite a few companies had shipped like a lot of goods trucks were in transit and immediately when the country went under lockdown there was a panic among our customers Uh, to know what's happening uh, with all the trucks which are in transit and i remember one conversation with one of the potential customers that was in our sales pipeline and in the month of april their supply chain head called me asking uh, he mentioned amol the country is under lockdown and i have 6000 trucks which are in transit and i have no visibility what's happening to those trucks 
because they hadn't deployed our platform at that time. So most of the processes were manual. And he said, I have shipped such a high value goods. 6,000 trucks are in transit. I have no idea where the trucks are. I don't know if they have reached destination or they are in transit. I don't know if the drivers are with the truck. So within 48 hours, we had to deploy our platform with them to bring mm -hmm. that end to end supply chain transparency. So instead of wondering where the 6,000 trucks are, they got our platform and the control tower to see how their operations are work working, where the operations are choked up, where the bottlenecks are, and they can prepare action plan to kind of remove some of those bottlenecks. So the mm -hmm. biggest impact I have seen is uh, uh, accelerated sales process because before pandemic, we would always have to pitch Fred Tiger product, demonstrate uh, the product features, give them case studies to prove that they can get the benefit. This pandemic just helped highlight all the supply chain inefficiencies where mm -hmm. most of the customers now look at technology as must have and not nice to have. So that change of mindset uh, has helped us accelerate the sales process just to onboard mm -hmm. more and more uh, customers on the platform. And largely that would, I think, uh, be helpful for overall freight market in India. Mm -hmm. uh, as you said or mentioned, uh, it helped you to accelerate or yeah, getting more customers. Have you actually profited from the crisis then? So in terms of growth? Uh, in terms of growth uh, and uh, just because uh, for three to four months when the country was under strict lockdown, uh, there mm -hmm. had been impact in terms of uh, the trip volume had got down, so the business volume had gone down. But around August, September timeframe, our volumes were back to pre-COVID. And mm -hmm. after that, we have seen this positive trend where customers actually want to use technology and deploy FT platform. So we have mm -hmm. seen larger adoption of the product. And it's not just profiting or not just looking at the growth but also we have seen the product adoption. So we had mm -hmm. few customers who had deployed our platform, but before pandemic, they would not take the complete advantage of using the platform. But now those habits where everyone is working remotely, the primary communication around operation does happen through the platform. So we also mm -hmm. have seen a positive trend in terms of the product adoption on ground. And last but not least, Amal, can you give me, or do you have a few key figures like uh, how many employees do you have, maybe net turnover, and how many customers, and maybe a brief outlook of what Freitagger plans next? Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. So uh, in terms of uh, where we are today, uh, we have about uh, 200 uh, employees, uh, which includes several functions, including uh, the product take and control tower operations team. Uh, we are located in Mumbai and Bangalore. Uh, in terms of the scale uh, today, about 3% of the uh, transactions in the country go through our platform. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have set an ambitious goal for us to make Freight Tiger as a default unified platform for the freight industry in India. So we want every single transaction in the country to go through our platform. That's our way of bringing in the efficiency and onboarding all of those offline networks onto our platform where they can operate on the platform, creating transparency throughout supply chain. So when we look at future, we have looked at a couple of growth areas. One is continuing on the growth that we are on, where we get every single transaction in the country to go through our platform. And that would help onboard not just those supply chain stakeholders, but also it would create the largest network in the country where mm -hmm. uh, the supply and demand would be on the platform to ease the uh, to ease the transactions between shipper transporter and the fleet owners uh, so that's one aspect of the growth and the second aspect we are looking at is international markets where uh, we have observed quite a few markets in southeast asia africa and middle east have similar characteristics to indian freight market so we think our platform would also provide significant value prop to customers that operate in those markets. So those are the two uh, broad areas where we are looking at going. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Amul, for giving me the valuable insights and for taking the time to have this interview. 
Sure, it was a pleasure talking to you. Do you have anything to add at the end? Uh, no, uh, so we are a uh, couple of points again, as we uh, we are fortunate to be part of uh, the Indian freight market as it's going through change. So we are re really looking forward to look at this digitization for freight market in India. So we are super excited about the prospects. And uh, second is I'm looking forward to the panel on the fifth, uh, talking to two, two of my peers. So yeah, that's all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye.